Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. I love when I'm when I'm right about she. I know I'll pat myself on the back quick. Now I remember 15 weeks ago, you know, T Girl Damas, don't forget shit. 15 weeks ago, I was attacked by a bunch of musty fans. I, that's what I call Elon Musk fanboys. I call them the musties, okay? So all these musty dusties were attacking me because I said Elon Musk is an idiot. He has no case against Twitter. I told y'all uh, months ago that this man wrote a check that his ass couldn't cash. I told y'all months ago that he was going to own Twitter by hook or crook. See, he did that looking for attention. I'm going to buy Twitter. I'm going to buy Twitter. But the thing is, this idiot went through with some of the paperwork. They went through with all like the legal aspects of it. But once he really got to doing a lot of digging, he realized Twitter ain't worth shit. So then all of a sudden he didn't want it. And he tried to lie and say that, oh, they lied. There's a lot of bots on Twitter. Half those people are not real people. The evaluation was a lie. No, you do the evaluation before you start the paperwork. You chose to be messy. You were looking for news. You were looking to trend. And I told folks, he is going to be forced to own Twitter. Twitter has money to go toe to toe with Elon Musk. Y'all thought I was over exaggerating. Y'all said that Elon Musk was going to win. And as of three days ago, Elon Musk is now the proud owner of Twitter, a dying website. Let's go back to when Tigo Dramas <laughs> was telling y'all like it is. So this is what I wrote 15 weeks ago. I said, I told y'all my live Twitter wasn't going to play with this attention seeking stock manipulation with his attention seeking stock manipulation ass. He bit off more than he could chew with his attention seeking move. Twitter got the money to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. And from what I'm hearing, Tesla is struggling and the government welfare has, that he's been freeloading is ending. Okay? So, you know, a lot of folks got in their feelings, didn't care. Then we posted this. Twitter must trial on $44 billion deal set to begin in October after Musk loses effort to delay. And then I wrote on here, his musty fanboys are awfully quiet. They swore Twitter had no case. <laughs> now, what's even more interesting is he had to go through with it. So he now owns it. But I want to read you, I believe it's this article. Nope. Where'd it go? Right here. Okay. So basically, he has definitely created his own um nightmare scenario there's something in here that i saw that i wanted to read okay the significance of this statement is more subtle to understand you have to start with the basics twitter currently makes 90 percent of its revenue from advertising the rest is largely from data licensing this means that you the twitter user are not just twitter's customers but you are the product Okay, like I've always told you guys, if something is free on the internet, it's not really free. That just means that you're the product. You're the person being sold, right? Um, it's customers and corporate, and it's, it's customers are corporate advertisers, and every business person knows this. The customer is always right. Grocery stores care about people shopping for Cheetos, not about the feeling of the Cheetos themselves. Twitter's content moderation has sometimes been heavy handed, especially when it froze my account because David Duke got mad at me. But this is not because Twitter is ran by a woke mob. It's because Twitter needs help to keep advertisers happy. And their top priority is a certain kind of environment for their ads. OK, let me come back on the screen. So. This is going to be very, very interesting if you guys don't understand what's going on here. I believe, like I said from day one, that Elon Musk has bitten off more than he can chew, okay? 
Twitter was a dying company anyways. Nobody uses Twitter like that. I mean, you have people who are on there, but it, it ain't like that, okay? It's never made the same money that Facebook has made or that Instagram has made. Like they said in that article, Twitter has mainly just been data miming. That's just what they really do. And they have some advertisers on there, but not a whole lot. Now, as of earlier today, it was noted that General Motors, they pulled out of Twitter. Because right now, a lot of these companies are trying to figure out what is Elon Musk's end game. Because he's saying that he wants everybody to have the freedom to talk on there and to say what they want to say. Unfortunately, yes, freedom of speech is dying and it's a good thing to have freedom of speech. But where do you draw the line? I have saw an article that allegedly, I don't know how true this is, but they're saying that the N-word rose by 500% on Twitter. I don't know if that's true, but it was an article that said that. And then I'm thinking, well, who's monitoring the usage of the N-word? Like, what was it before Elon Musk bought Twitter? So they're saying that because he bought Twitter, racism is alive on the app. A lot of, um, okay, so I just said it's true. You've seen it too? Okay, so you did see that. Okay. Shout out. We got 10,000 people in here. Uh, thank you, uh, Milk Cake, for letting me know. So with the whole Twitter situation, it's a dying platform, right? It's not as popular. Um you had General Motors backing out. They want to know where he's going to go with this platform before they attach their advertisement to Elon Musk's nonsense. Um, on top of that, in the past three days, he got rid of all the other people who are working for Twitter, um, the other CEOs. And now he's trying to make money, right? He wants to make back this $44 billion that he spent. And on top of that, he took out a loan. He took out various stock options, loan options to be able to buy this. And the reason why he didn't want to go to court, because if they would have went to court, um, I believe it was supposed to be set for like November or something like that eventually, because he was trying to get it delayed. They would have had to peel back all of the onions of his financial situation. And Elon Musk is not as rich as what people think. A lot of his stuff has been subsidized. He's gotten a lot of help. Um, so it would have been a lot of him being exposed. I don't think he wanted that. So for him, it was just easier to bite the bullet and just go through with the purchase. So now they're saying that Elon Musk is trying to sell verifications on Twitter. So now you can pay to be verified. Um, they're trying to set up a subscription model. They already have a slight subscription model, but I think they're trying to do it now. Like if you go onto Twitter, just even to go on, you may have to pay just to even go onto that website. So he's trying to find different ways to make his money back. It's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. It's going to be very interesting. Twitter could end up breaking him because Twitter just does not make that much money. Like nobody's even really on Twitter advertising things like that. Like you see on TikTok, like you'll see TikTokers doing promo and sponsorships and things like that. You don't see a lot of that on Twitter. You know, Twitter is more for like just quick micro blogging. So it's going to be very interesting to see what ends up happening. But I definitely, like I've been saying from day one, he bit off way more than he can chew. And right now he's out here kind of looking desperate. He's trying to figure out ways where he can recoup that money. And so you're going to start seeing him implementing a lot of different things as the weeks and the months go on. But the first thing he's going to have to decide is what is he going to do as far as, you know, the freedom of speech thing? Because they said he let Kanye back on. He supposedly let Donald Trump back on. So what is he going to do? Because what if Kanye says something else that they deem reckless and now more advertisers pull out of Twitter? That can get him in a pickle you know, being that he just bought this platform. So I'm going to be watching this closely, but for all you musty fanboys who doubted me, I was right. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I told y'all, I told you so. Shit. <laughs> Them musty fanboys was dragging me, but I told y'all, he had no case. Can't say you're going to buy something, go through with the paperwork and then change your mind once the attention has died down.
He's an attention seeker. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.